What's up guys? It is Spawnuary, and as I suspected, there has been an influx of amazing spawn art. So much to look through, so many great submissions, and I thought it would be a fun time to just kind of collect as many as I could and just check them out, look through them with you. And heck, even if these guys don't win, it'd be fun to just kind of give our own opinion. Who do you think uh, should be on the cover of a spawn book? So anyway, Lots of great stuff to look at. I probably didn't even get all of them, but there are so many, and let's just look through them. It'll be a good time. So here we go. First off, we got Neon Rocker. This is really cool. Really cool stuff right here. I'm gonna say it's probably all digital, but very cool nonetheless. I love the color selections. Very cool. And it is neon. So there you go. Now this one's cool. This is very Greg Capullo-ish. Justin Mason art. Very cool. You could tell from the, just the detail. It's like very Capullo-like. Love it. Really cool stuff. Nice. Got the taunt, I believe, right? Very cool. Here's a neat one. I dig this. What about King Spawn? Very nice. Mark Marvita. And dude, check these guys out. Um, I have all their their tags in there. If you want to go check them out, follow them on Instagram. Give their their spawn a like if you like it, and uh, go let them know. Hey, I liked yours the best, man. Good luck. We shall see what happens. And this is week one, guys. Week one. This week is Gunslinger Spawn. So here we go. Benjamin Caret Art. Very cool. I dig this. Very kind of like a cartoony vibe. I dig it. I like the angles. Angles of the face. It's cool. Stylistic, man. I like it. Here we go. Here's one with lots of cross hatching. I love the cross hatching stuff. Very cool. Black and white. Nice. Very cool. I'll check this one. This is Quacom. Alan Qua. If I'm saying that right. Nice, kind of like ink wash work. I dig it. Just the the black and white and the gray tones. It's very very nice. Very cool, stunning. Ricardo, Latina art. Nice again. Lots of ooh, I like this. Look at all that wonderful pen brushwork in the background. Really nice. Yeah, I dig that. Good lighting. Lots of bats. Very cool. Look at that. I love the... I'm partial to the pen work and brush work stuff. Very nice. Could be digital. It's possible. But it is very nice. Cool deal. All right, we got a one Gideon. Now, when I immediately saw this one, I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's definitely Greg Capullo. But I wouldn't personally have gone with this, this pose, this kind of style, because someone might be like, ah, eh, it's just a typical Greg Capullo. It could even be a swipe. Who knows? Um, so I would have steer steer clear to that myself. But but still. Pretty cool. Well done. Now this is cool. Rene Cordova art. Very cool. So, like I said in one of my other videos, man, it just depends on what kind of mood McFarland's in, but this could totally win. I mean, it's it's a cool style, it's well done. Hey, if he wants to throw up more of a like chibi kind of art on his cover, hey, 
this guy could win too. You never know. So, while it's different, it's still really well done. And, yeah. Cool line work there. I give it an A+. It's still cool. I wouldn't choose it for my cover, but it's still cool. And this is rad. It's like straight out of like a cartoon series or something. This is pretty sweet. This is Meech Doodle. I dig it. Yeah, that's that's a good, powerful pose. I like it. Very cool. All right. Now this one, this is one of the ones that kind of caught my eye. Um, I really like it. I really dig this thing he's on top of. This like a face. It's like a gargoyle type parapet thing on a building. Like, well done. I like the rendering. Just the style of it. Um, this one... For me, I think, we'll keep looking, but this one's high on my list. And he's actually got a few that he submitted. So this is Gaston and Gastoni Art. Gastoni Art? Something like that. But uh, I really dig this one. Well done. It's cool. I'm looking at this moon, or sun, probably moon, going into the building there. Just kind of looks a little bit, maybe like a tangent, but no biggie so I like this one a lot all right nice static pose nice I like the the line work in there or the pencil work very cool reminds me of um, uh, what's his name? I'm blanking on his name. But this is Dr. Rock. Rocky Art. Very nice. Um, uh, Christian... What's his name? Uh, I can see his signature in my head, but it's initials. Um, uh, brain fart. It'll come to me when I'm not thinking about it. Alright, next. Another one. Dr. Rocky Art. Cool. Yeah, I love that. The line work going on in there. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, so you can submit as many as you want, um, artists. So, got guys taking advantage of that. And it's only going to increase your odds. So, why not? But, dig it. I do think, just an artistic create um, critique. His, where his stomach is. He's got a really short pelvis. His crotch is like way up too high there. It's my only critique. Other than that, it's cool. Boom! Next. This is rad. Very cool. This is... Yusuklova art. Yusuklova. Something like that. Very cool. Dun, dun, dun. The little violators. I dig it. Noise. Now we got some Spider Guile. Yes, I've been following this guy for a long time. Found him on DeviantArt, but uh, he is from the UK, Paris. But uh, Spider Guile has done lots of cool stuff. He just does really cool. Uh, just his characters, and uh, I love it. You can tell by the his stylization of the costume there. Very cool. Kind of his uh, his vibe. I don't love the big pile of trash behind him, personally. I mean, obviously, we know he comes from the back alleys and stuff, but, I mean, I would have personally just gone with something a little different. I mean, it's him walking away from a pile of trash. That's my only critique on that. But Spawn looks awesome, and his cape is kind of small. But other than that, it's rad. Next, Milton Aguilar. Very nice. Um, check him out. He's got a cool book that he was working on. I think it's called Raptor. Um, but yeah, I just started following this guy. Really cool looking stuff. And here's his take on Spawn. Pretty rad. Nice. Good deal. Next. Scoots art. 
This is cool. I dig it. I like the pose. I like the style. It's cool. Noise. I like that one. All right. Jose Real Art. Or Real. Something like that. Very cool. Lots of different styles. I dig it, man. This is cool. Ooh. Cuber Bow. Check that out. That's rad. <laughs> the detail. Dig it. That's a sweet face. It's really, really cool. Um, I'm gonna say this is probably digital art. This up here on the top of his head reminds me of like um, Kanan White. He does some cool stuff like that. But um, yeah, interesting pose, right? Because most, I mean, half of the page is filled with his body, half of the page is filled with his cape. So that is an interesting stylistic choice for for the cover. All right. Ooh. Sony Wikasana. Sorry if I'm, if I'm murdering your names, guys. I do apologize. My name is Eric Nitalski, so I know how it goes. We'll just call you Sony. But uh, this is a cool piece. Very nice. I dig the background. Very cool. Lots and lots of lines. I like it a lot. Ooh. Spawn with guns. You're always going to get me with spawn. Here he is again. Gaston Art. Gastoni Art. So I told you he did a few. And uh, this one's cool too. I like the little, the other one a little bit more. Get you the guns coming in from the sides. Dig that. Bunch of skulls. Oh, look, you got one, two, three guns coming in. Four guns. I missed that one. I thought that was spawns. Nope, they're trying to take him out. Rad. All right, all right. I don't know why I read that as one of Spawn's guns, but that's definitely coming in from the left. At Spawn. My bad. Very cool. Very cool. This guy's good. I like it. I would hire him to work on my stuff. I would. Oh, all right. We got a Sketch Felix sketch. Now, this one, this one is high on my list as well. Uh, really well done. I love the, the gray. So this is probably ink wash. Um, mad props to these guys who do the ink wash. It's not easy and it looks great, but he's popping out. He's like inside the violator's mouth. How cool is that? So this is another one high on my list. High on my list for what I would go with. If I was McFarlane and I was choosing, I'd high on my list. This is rad. I love look at that face. That's great. Good stuff. Ah, oh, this is cool. Very cool. This is Gambit Sink. Rad. So this is... It looks painted. But yet... You never know. Because that, that lightning... I don't know. Is it like really painted or is it just digital paint who knows you can never tell anymore you can never tell but it's cool man it is cool i dig it another one that it's like you know you can see this in like an animated tv show or something that's rad all right dmn art very dark rooting i like it nice huge skull down there Got the sword. Very cool. Hey, Bowden Comic Art. Now this is Mike Bowden. Um, you guys should be familiar with his work, but um, very cool Joe Mad type style. Uh, I would love to see him work on some some battle chasers. It's definitely got that Joe Mad vibe, and uh, it's cool just seeing this this style. Um, what if Joe Mad drew Spawn? 
Got some Mike Bowden taking that on. This is rad. And again, crushing the head of the Violator. Or it could be Melbolgia, who knows. Um, he's got that long mouth too. But this is cool, man. Give him a follow on the Instagrams. Always post cool work. Lesio Marani art. This is cool. Definitely see that on a spawn tra trade paperback cover or something for sure. It's cool. I would have maybe made spawn a little bit bigger. Because again, when you look at the other elements and then the smoke on the bottom, the portion that spawn actually takes up is very minuscule compared to everything else. So I would have just maybe just blew him up. Just kind of zoom in on that a little bit. But otherwise, I dig it. It's cool. Now this one, this one, he went kind of like sideways with it. I, I dig it. Art of Drew Zucker. Cool concept. And yeah, so we're like kind of looking down on him, but we're also falling kind of because we're looking at the tops of the buildings. So he totally just turned this thing on its head and it's a cool idea. It's a cool idea. But, uh, yeah, it's just kind of hard to, the only downside of that is just, it's hard to kind of like focus on, um, you know, like spawn, like, I guess it's not as um, like bam in your face. It's just kind of different, but it's cool. It's cool. Demina. Now he did one in the beginning. I said he had that cool Greg Pulo style. This is another one he did. Uh, this is just the pencils. I believe he did ink it. I saw on another one. Signed Nastos24. But yeah, he's definitely got that cool Pulo style down. I like it. Very cool. That's rad. Lots of details. Lots of details. Um, yeah, I'm trying to remember if I saw it inked or if I downloaded the ink version, but let's keep going. We'll see. Boom. All right. So this one is more of a painting, matty dark side. This is cool. Pretty cool. I just noticed this eyeball chilling down here on the right. It's kind of cool. Yeah, so a little, little more abstract, but it's it's rad. Anti Gert. <laughs> So this one I had to download just because it's it's like cool, it's original, right? It's stained glass window. It's just that's unique. I dig it. You know? Um there's so many cool different styles being thrown in here for this contest. I love it. MJ1, 1129. Some digital art. See now just, you know, when you look at this one. Spawn takes up, you know, three quarters of the image. And then you got your big moon, but like spawn is the obvious focal point of the image. So I dig that. It's a little bit better, my my humble opinion. Very cool. Got the spawn logo on the gun. Nice. This one's cool. Christopher Ring Art. Oh, come back. Got so many to look at. So many to look at. And I probably didn't get them all. And like more come in daily, which I'm curious if, you know, if you can only submit them during the, the first week, which is what I originally thought when I read it, you know, each week you could submit, but there's still people submitting for spawn, which was in week one. So I don't know if those will count. Shall see. This is a cool one. A little bit on the rough side, but still cool. Good submission, Sketch 24. This is rad. Alps Arts. Very nice. Well rendered. I'm assuming there's gonna be more to this. But um, yeah, it's, it's nice. Good figure. I like the upward shot there. It's cool. Interested to see the final there. Digoo Doodles. 
Nice. So I'm not a great painter, but you know, I, I dig this stuff. Still well done. I like the, you know, the way that all works, the, the gray tone, all that stuff. I appreciate these guys that do this. I can color, but not like this. Not like this. It's cool. Noise. I like this. Very dynamic. Andre Ruzzo 94. Yeah, this is cool. Dynamic pose. Lots of action, momentum, energy going on. I like it. Got the moon in the background. Yeah, this is nice. This is nice. Ryan M. Kincaid. Now this one, here's here's my only critique. He does not have the blue line thing behind it. And the rules clearly state it's got to be on the spawn blue line thing. So I feel that this guy might not even be accepted, which is horrible because it's really cool. It's really good. But uh, got to make sure you follow the rules because it would suck to work so hard on something and then it not be accepted because you didn't put it on the blue line. Put it on the blue line. Look at all these guys. Blue line. Blue line. You can't see the top, but it's still blue line. Blue line. Blue line. So, if you guys are going to submit, make sure you follow the rules, put it on the blue line, or do like, you know, a few images where you can attach a few and then just scroll through, and then in the last one or second one, you have the blue line behind there. Because that would suck if this guy didn't get submitted and accepted because he didn't follow the rules. All right. Ica Draws. It's from Italy. Yeah, this is nice. It's nice. Dig it. Cool deal. Another painted looking one. This is like, I mean, this wouldn't be my number one choice, but I mean, really well done. Um, I could, you could totally see this on like, you remember the old school cool Marvel cards? Um, this is just, it's got that awesome vibe to it. Well done. Oops. Um, yeah, really nice. Like I said, I'm not a painter, but I appreciate these guys who can do this stuff digitally or for reals. I mean, for reals, when you're doing it traditionally, you know, you got even more of my respect because, gosh, I hate mixing paint. I hate it. Uh, but if you could do this stuff and you're mixing the paint and doing this, ah, man, hats off to you, bro. Here's a unique one. This is cool. Jocko Tar Taruga. This is cool. Um, like a Rorschach thing here. I mean, this is different and it's, it's pretty rad. That is pretty rad. I dig it. I dig it. That's why I downloaded it. All right, we got Eric Chan. Eric Chan. It looks like a woman. So it's probably not Eric. But Aruka Chen. This is cool. This is cool. Dig it. Nice colors. Very cool. All right. It's art by Martin. Did we see another one by him? Maybe not. But this is rad. I like got a king spawn going on. Um, that's cool. Very nice, very nice. I dig it. This one, so Art of Roto, uh, his had like a bunch of images you could flip through, but you know, he's got all the different process shots on you know, black and white. And then the next one is on the blue line. So congrats, he did put it on the blue line. Um, but yeah, this is rad. You got Gunslinger spawn in the background playing the drums. Whoops. Got. So I don't know. Is she she spawn or is it the scorched? I, I don't know how to refer to her. I have the comics. I haven't read them. I'm so sorry. But I feel dumb. I am. It's fine. Uh, but so I don't know if to call her she spawn or scorched. I don't know. I need to. I need to look at that. Um, but yeah. But this is cool. Just totally unique. Totally different. Very cool. Rocking out. So uh, check his out. He's got more images, more process shots. 
This one by far stands out the best. The uh, the black and white one's kind of like eh, uh, but this one, yeah, this is cool. Check it out. Kanan White, here he is, my man Kanan. Always throwing down some awesome lines. He went a little different, um, but yeah, just had fun with it. This is cool. Huge like sickle. And then you got the arm of Nobolgia down there. That's rad. Or Violator. Uh, it's hard to tell. But this is cool. Kanan White always does awesome work. He did a cover for me for Shadow Century Book 2. Look at that. He's got an axe on his, his thigh there. That's awesome. Yeah. Kanan's awesome, man. Great work. Very nice. All right. Pablo Cardi. Pablo Cardi. Nice. Everybody's going with these old, kind of like gothic buildings in the background. I love it. Actually, this is actually a real... That's a real place. Don't know the name of the cathedral it's taken from, but I know that's a real place. And then he probably just traced over it because that's what we artists do. Because it looks better when you have good reference and you just go over that. But, uh, very cool. Boom. Draw. Drawler. Erase. Repeat. Draw. Erase. Repeat. There you go. Yeah, this is cool. Um, good job. I like the form. I like the the body pose and stuff. It's cool. My only critique is his hand. It's touching. Well, it's going to be cut off. His nail is going to be cut off. It's touching the edge of the paper. So that's past the trim line. And then his leg is going to get trimmed off. So he did not pay attention to the markings there. And if you're, I would have shrunk it down. So like scan it in and then shrink it and then put the background behind it because it's going to get chopped off, man. And that just won't look as cool. So always be mindful of your trim marks and all that good stuff, guys. Do it. Noise. Another one using the violator. Smart, 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 smart. And he's got a gun. I love it. Mariano B. Chapo from the Philadelphia Historical District. What's up, Mariano? Nice work. I dig it. Kudos. Shout out. Boom. We've got a core art and why comic art. I'm assuming one on pencils, one on colors. Cool. Nice static pose with the guns and the coloring is good. Uh, it's cool. The line work, the line weights are very thick. Um, I wish they were a little thinner. But otherwise, I mean, it's cool. It's a nice pose. Cool background. Are they good? Got some, is this rocks on the bottom? Rocks on the ground there? Alessio Moroni art. Boom. It's cool, cool, cool. Noise. The gray tone definitely works. Definitely helps it pop into the green. It's cool. Oh, there you go. Tamina Nastos. Um, thought I saw an inked one. So there you go. You can see the inked version and the color, or the pencil version. This one doesn't quite pick up the details as much, but it's cool. Yeah, it's definitely needs to be a better resolution, I feel like, because it's it's not reading great. Not as good as the pencils, anyway. But, very cool. Clay Lim! Uh, this one's cool. I just wish I could see the rest of the image. But this one is really cool. Again, not very high resolution, which Todd said, give me high res. I want to see it in high res. So, Clay Lim. Um... I'm trying to remember if he had numerous things you could scroll through, but really cool, really well done. I want to see, I want to see it clearer and crisper because this looks really cool. Um, I'd say this would be a, a high contender for me, but I can't see it that well. So he's not a high contender anymore, and I want to see the rest of the image. Like, give me the full thing, you know. Ugh. Mm. But that's an awesome dragon. It's really cool. Really well done. I, I like the line work. I like, you know, the pose. I like it all. 
except the low res is killing me. Next. Alex Markowski. Yes, I could pronounce your name, friend. Yes, I can. Violator head. Boom! Yes. That's cool. I dig it. Very cool. Kinitsu Glind. Doom, 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 doom. Noise. Got the got a bitmap thing going. Dot matrix. I like it. So many styles. But this is cool. I like this. This is cool. Um, I'd probably put the spawn logo at the bottom. Down in that bottom left. Very cool. Now. Ooh. Ooh. I like this a lot. This is nice. Look at that. See, look. This is high res. Look at that. You could zoom in. Mm, still looks good. Still looks good. That's nice. Yes. Really nice. Yep. I'd say this would be a contender for me. Idris Dukret. Maybe. Probably saying it wrong. Yeah, that's that's really nice. Very nice. Well done, sir. I like that one a lot. Alright, so I got like three that I really like. Okay, here we go. I was wondering if anybody is going to do like an, an homage to anything, you know? And here we go. We got the Batman cover from Jim Lee. Awesome. B. Costering. What's boom? So this is Brandon Costering. Nice. That's cool. Um, yeah. After Jim Lee. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I, that's a, To me, that's a classic cover. I love that cover. Uh, I used to have a big poster on my wall, but I took it down and I put mine up. I put mine up with Kanan White's illustration needed for me on Shadow Sentry. But anywho, I love this cover. Really cool. So I don't think it's a winner, but I love it. It's so cool. All right. Okay. So here's Jesse Hagee. Um, he's done some color work for me in the past. Really awesome colorist. And he colored one of the ones I really liked. Um, Sketch flex sketch the the dude inside the violator head spawn. This is really cool. Um, so yeah, this is one of my top contenders, and here it is in color. Very cool. Jesse Hagee pulling out some cool colors. Look at that. High res. High res. You can zoom in, you can see it all. Love it. So that's what it would look like in color. Very cool. Well done, Jesse. Well done. Here we go. I think this is the last one. So this is Sandoval. You guys know him. Boom. Done a lot of stuff for Marvel. Um, but yeah, this is rad. Look at that. That's just like a good... That's cool. So Ricardo Sandoval. Yeah, that is nice. And then who's doing the colors? Oops. David, Dave Curiel, I, Curiel, um, I don't know his stuff, but this is really cool. This is, this is awesome. Now this one didn't come, I didn't see this one pop up till a lot later, which is curious. I don't know if he submitted it this week or what, but this is hot. This is, this is really cool. So, all right, but I'm, I'm partial to the, the guys that I don't know. So this is in my top four. I would add this, but I would not give him the gold. Although this is amazing. This is, I'd, I'd want to give it to a, like a, you know, unpublished professional, I guess, you know, if I was going to pick. Um, but this is legit. Love his work. So anyway, I think that is the last one. It is, that is the last one that I downloaded. Really cool. Um, so I'd be interested to hear what you guys think. Who would you give your cover to? Um, Mine again, let's see, was, I really like this one. And then the other one was the one we just saw, which I think was further in, let's see. It's between that one. This is really cool though, I, I really dig this. The other one I liked was, let me see the black and white. That's cool. There it is. So, if I was gonna go with one, 
Mm. I think it would be this one. I do. I think it would be this one. Sketch Flex Sketch. You are my pick for the spawn cover. This is just really cool. I dig the... Dig the... Just great, great tone. It's cool. I love it. And just the... Like, he's like inside the violator's mouth. That's just rad. That, um... That... That's it, man. That's my pick. So tell me who you like. Who is your pick? Uh, Gastonia Art again. Some really cool stuff. I really like his stuff. I'm going to give him a follow now because this is cool too. Um, I just like the style. I like it. So this is my number two pick. And there you go. Well, thanks for joining me, guys. This has been fun. If you like it, maybe we'll do it again for the Gunslinger Spawn submissions because they're just so much awesome art to look at. Uh, as you know, I, I'm submitting mine, and we shall see what happens. We shall see, but I'm excited about it. And uh, all right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Until next time, peace.